Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to another tarot reading from me. So today's topic is going to be on predictions for the next 30 days. So this is going to apply to the next 30 days from the moment that you come across this reading. I was going to do July 2024, but unfortunately I ran late. So I figured I would do a more general timeless, timeless reading. Sorry. So these are your options if you want to choose with just crystals. Once again, I will mention that I have chosen these crystals intuitively with, I mean, basically pondering upon the question, meditating, asking spirit which crystals I should use for this reading. These are the ones that came out intuitively. And these are your options. So pile number one, you have this amethyst crystal. Pile number two, you have this ruby zoocyte crystal. Pile number three, you have this black onyx crystal. Okay, so these are your options. You can pause the video if you need more time to decide. Once again, my recommendation is that you take some deep breaths, meditate upon the question with your eyes closed maybe address it to a higher power like god spirit whatever you believe in and then open your eyes and choose your pile intuitively without overthinking it and if you feel drawn to more than one of course feel free to watch several or even all of them and just take whichever messages resonate i will see you at your reading so this is for those of you who, who would like to choose with a card as well as a crystal this is going to be the selecting of the card for each crystals using the wild unknown archetypes these cards are so hard to shuffle but i'm gonna do my best okay so spirit tell me about pile number one what are the next 30 days the next roughly one month I'm gonna bring for pile number one tell me tell me for pile number two spirit what are the next 30 days gonna bring for pile number two what are the next 30 days gonna bring for pile number three the black onyx tell me spirit ah tell me spirit about pile number three tell me spirit for pile number three okay So pile number one, you have the thread. I think this is number 70. The empty room for pile number two. Um, this is number 42. Oh, wow. Okay. Pile number three, we have the healer number 25 okay so these are your options let me zoom in all right so these are your options once again for those who would like to choose with a card as well as a crystal so pile number one you have this card over here and or this amethyst crystal pile number two you have this card over here and or this ruby zoocyte crystal pile number three you have this card over here and or this black onyx crystal all right so these are your options you can pause the video if you need more time to decide my recommendation as usual is that you take some deep breaths meditate upon the question with your eyes closed um exhale longer than you inhale that will help center you and calm you down and then open your eyes choose the first pile that stands out to you intuitively without overthinking it and then if you feel drawn to more than one of course you are free to watch several or even all of them and just take whichever messages resonate I will see you at your reading. Okay, so pile number one, you have this card with number 70, the thread. I'm going to also select some oracle cards for you. Spirit, tell me about pile number one, what's going to happen for them in the next 
30 days, roughly one month from now. Spirit, tell me about pile number one. What can they expect in the next roughly 30 days, about one month from now, within the next month? All right, so we have, oh wow, rejection, number 13. And we have patience. If you've tried forever to shift a problem, there's probably something to learn from embracing it. May I let this be for now? Help me relax and trust every need will be met. Often change soon follows. Hmm. Okay. Let's see the cards. Spirit, tell me about pile number one. What is happening for them within the next... 30 days, the people who chose the amethyst crystal, tell me, spirit. We have ace of swords, we have eight of pentacles, we have queen of wands, ace of cups, the Hermit, and the Two of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me about pile number one, the Amethyst group. What is the next month or roughly next 30 days going to bring for them? The Chariot, underneath the Ace of Swords. The Fool, underneath the Eight of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, underneath the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands again. Wow. Um, the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups. Okay, so I'm seeing um, two simultaneous um, strong messages here for pile number one. <clears throat> um, simultaneously strong messages, but they're also connected to one another. So the Queen of Wands came out twice for you. You also have this card with Patience. And you also have this card with Rejection here, which makes me think of, you know, Rejection is Divine Protection. That's saying... And we have the thread with number 70, which basically gives me a lot of K2 energy. And you know, when I think about the thread, I'm thinking about hanging on a thin thread, you know. <laughs> that kind of, I don't know, that was the first thing that came to my mind. So anyway, what I see here for you is that you are very driven right now. So your energy is very focused on maybe building something i feel like it's particularly professional um either because you want to be focusing on it or because you are forced by circumstances to focus on your career but basically right now your energy is mainly directed towards career maybe learning a new skill for some of you it could be education and it's taking up like a lot of your energy you have a lot of drive um you're very energetic you are also very mentally and intellectually capable and you know you have a sharp intellect so yeah you're very passionate about something you're doing some kind of a passion project career you know this is your main focus and what i see here look at this we have the queen of wands and we have the king of pentacles underneath followed by the ace of cups and then the queen of wands underneath <laughs> um so what i'm seeing here very clearly is that the same qualities that you used to direct towards maybe a relationship or matters of the heart so i feel like you're leaving behind within the next 30 days you're actually going to be leaving behind Again, either by choice or because you're going to be pressured by circumstances to put this in the in the background of your life, you know, on on a on in the back burner, so to speak, on the back burner. Um, 
you're not going to be having enough energy to focus on relationships, romance. Maybe there's something like you are moving away from a relationship. I really feel strongly for a lot of you, this is about moving away from a relationship or it's moving away from some kind of infatuation that you have had maybe for a long time. And this does not mean um, that whatever this is, that it's not going to happen, that it's not going to work out. Um, it's just, it just means that you're going to be forced or you're going to see yourself that you need to focus more on your career within the next follow, within the next 30 days. So you're going to use a lot of that same passion and that, that same energy that you have directed towards your emotional life, you know, your feelings, your desire for romance. And you're going to take a lot of that same passion and put it into your career, into your creativity, creative projects, um, sources of income. So what I am seeing very strongly is that your financial situation is in increasing. And it's not a coincidence. <laughs> it's because you are just putting in a ton of effort into it. So it's not magical thinking or anything. Um for some of you, very specifically, this could actually be about a rejection. So it could be that maybe in the recent history or again in the near future, you might go through some kind of a painful rejection. I feel like it could be connected to romance, but it could also be connected to uh, maybe a job, a career that you wanted. Most likely a job, okay? So there might be a bit of disappointment, a bit of a setback, but... Overall, look at this, you have the future, the near future for you, and the ultimate outcome are both very positive. So you have the Hermit, which is clarified by the Four of Wands, which clearly shows to me that in the near future, you're actually going to get to a point where you're going to be pretty content, not necessarily being single, because a lot of people look at the Hermit and they think this is single. Um, it could be being single, yes, I'm sp especially for those of you who are moving away from an infatuation or a relationship. This just so shows that within the next 30 days, you will reach a point where you're so consumed by your passions, by your interests, and probably also making money that you're going to feel pretty content and you're not going to be focusing your energy so much on relationships. Um, aside from that, it could also just mean that you are happy with the few people that you have in your life that are on your side right so like a handful of friends and family that you know they you can trust who are on your side who are good for you who want what is best for you who actually care about your happiness and you're just going to be content with your little you know uh, group of let's say soul tribe your little soul, tri soul tribe that is basically on the same wavelength as you are and not caring so much about other people's opinions, which is always a good thing. And we also have the outcome, which is the Two of Pentacles. And then we have, look at this, the Three of Cups. This can be interpreted in two different ways, actually. And I'm sure, see, here's what I see here. For some of you, if this is not, if you haven't recently actually broken up with someone or left a relationship, the Two of Pentacles, this could be that you're going to get reunited with maybe a crush you're gonna see your crush again someone you have dated someone you've been interested in this could just be of course reuniting with loved ones you know like getting back together with friends um hanging out with people you really care about having a good time so this is irrespective of what your romantic situation is i see more of a you know opportunity to socialize to network as well but also to get together with friends and have a good time Aside from that, the Two of Pentacles, um, also with the Three of Cups, like I said, for those of you who are just infatuated, you could be meeting with this, you could be meeting with this person, you know, that you have had on your mind. It could be like a, a second, maybe a second date, or if this is just someone you have been infatuated with, you're just going to see them for a second time or have some kind of a contact with them. But what I also see is that it's really important for you to manage your time. This is like the overall message here. You're going to have to learn time management. It's going to be like the most important thing. So what I'm seeing is that you're being a busy bee, basically. You're being really busy, but you also have to learn to focus on your long-term goals and basically develop your staying power. This is why we have the patience card here. 
And there's also this message of letting go, right? If you have been trying forever to shift a problem, there's probably something to learn from embracing it. May I let this be for now, all right? So if this if it resonates, of course, it's to be taken literally. Like maybe there's something you keep pushing against and you should just drop it, you know? If you believe in the theory that, for instance, Teal Swan uh, preaches that you're supposed to just let go of things and... Um, they will disappear because the more you fight against something, the more resistance you show, the more it will persist. So, I mean, take it how it resonates, but that could be a message like whatever it is. Maybe it could be for some of you just pursuing a romantic interest or keep fixating on the, on the same person. So it, it could be just a message of let it go, focus on what you can't control and the good things that you have in your life because there are good times coming for you ahead. This is pretty much what I'm seeing from the cards. Had to modify the camera a bit. Okay, so let me take some astro cards now. Spirit, tell me about pile number one. What is happening for them in the month of... In the next 30 days, I mean. We have Tron. Okay, why did I start the other way? Uh, we have Chiron, inner healing. Okay. We have fifth house, joy and play. That makes sense because there's going to be fun times. We have Cancer, the caring, first house, self and identity. Trine, which is support and inspiration. It's interesting because we have the Trine and we have the Three of Cups. I feel like it's the same. Support and inspiration is pretty much the same message as the, as the Three of Cups and also the Hermit. So the Hermit to me is first house energy. So this time within the next 30 days is definitely going to be focused on self-development. You know, you are going maybe through some significant transformation. You're very um, focused on your goals, you know, on achieving things. And you will you also have the fifth house, which shows a lot of creativity as well. You might be getting some creative ideas. This is also a good time for anyone who wants to start an educational program. Also, uh, enrolling in new courses, whether they are formal education or just hobby courses. Also, traveling for fun could be a thing within the next uh, 30 days. And teaching as well. So this is good for anyone who wants to be teaching anything, the fifth house. And also any kind of creative activity. We also have Cancer, the Caring, and we have Chiron, in the Inner Healing. So I feel like during this following period, there is a message that you need to focus on healing your wounds and also being kind to yourself. Cancer is a very nurturing mother, mothering sort of energy, you know, is the mother archetype. So the way that I would read this is maybe Spiritist is telling you to be kind to yourself, be like the parent you, you never had. Maybe if you feel like you didn't get enough attention or nurturing when you were a kid, um, try to police the negative self-talk, you know, and focus on building yourself up instead of, instead of tearing yourself down. This is what I'm getting. Let me get Astrodice now. Spirit, what else is happening for pile number one within the next 30 days? Okay, so we have Mercury, that's the Ace of Swords. We have Scorpio, that's Transformation. We also have Eleven, which is the house of gains. <laughs> gains from career, especially. Uh, but it's also the house of friendship and elder siblings as well. So these relationships could become particularly significant. Mercury is also about everything online. It's also about communication of any form, and it's about intellectual activity. That's why I said Ace of Swords energy, right? So again, this shows that you're going to be particularly curious. You might be learning new things. Maybe you're going to be drawn to reading certain things during this month. Pay attention to what books you feel like reading. There might be particular messages for you there. I mean, there might be a reason why you are attracted to certain books. You should read them. And Scorpio speaks of a, an air of transformation and resilience as well. It also shows that you're going probably going to be pretty introverted and, you know, focused on your own thing, which I see as a confirmation of the hermit energy. But there's also a lot of passion and determination. So I see the queen of wands energy in Scorpio as well. 
And the 11th house is very good news because it's one of the wealth houses. So definitely shows an increase in finances. But a lot of it, I feel, depends on your ability to make the most of your opportunities and manage your time, like the Two of Pentacles suggests. And you could be getting in touch with a lot of friends. Like I said, you could be expanding your, your network in general. You could have more opportunities to network. But you could also just be getting together with friends and siblings. Let me get some charms. Spirit, what can you tell me for vial number one? What's going to happen to them for them in the next roughly 30 days? Whoa, okay. Okay, tell me from pile number one. Whoa, okay. Very specific charms have fallen out. Okay, so we have a feather, we have a wing, which to me is mercury energy. I see this as confirmation because um, sometimes, at least in mythology, I think it was like Roman or Greek mythology that the god of mercury actually had wings. And anyway, there's like this connection with because Mercury is also air energy because it's ruling Gemini. Um, so there's something of swiftness and also a lot of intellectual activity, which I see as a confirmation as the Ace of Swords. Oh my God, Three of Cups here. Here we have the here we have the Three of Cups being confirmed with the dolphins, with the playfulness. So getting together with friends, you will have opportunities to maybe just relax, have a good time. We also have the cross here, so this could be that faith will be a comfort for you during this time. This could also be like the hermit, like maybe um, focusing on your spiritual practice is going to help you out a lot during this time. We also have eternal, which <laughs> to me is a confirmation of uh, patience, you know? Makes me think of the, the tortoise that outran the hare. Yes, I know technically that's a tortoise and this is a turtle, but it makes me think of the same energy. And um, yeah, that's what, what I'm seeing. So it's a, it's a message from spirit that you need to be patient. So keep putting in the work um, towards your dreams, towards your goals, and don't get exasperated when you don't see fast results. Oh, wow, we have the Cancer energy again with Mama. <laughs> so this could be obviously more specific. This could literally be, be about your mother. Like maybe you, for those of you who have children, this could be about, I don't know, learning about parenting, getting closer to your kids. But again, this could be about healing mother wounds. So like learning to be your own mother, maybe. We also have Beautiful. We have Dream. And we have imagine and inspire. So, so much Ace of Swords energy here. So Spirit is telling you, Spirit is telling you to be confident in your judgment and in your vision. And also write down your ideas because you could be getting some really strong inspiration during the next 30 days beautiful inspire imagine and inspire to me is also about following your passions and it's about also leading by example right so you could be a person that um easily motivates others when you are in a good energy and you should make the most of that because it's a gift basically so it also makes me think of teach teaching if some of you are called to teach right that you are encouraged to do that and with the imagination and the dream, and I feel like spirit is like, don't hold back, you know? It's like, yes, it's going to take time, but dream big and don't think that you cannot achieve your goals just because you encounter frustrations, right? Stay true to your vision, basically. And the beautiful, I feel like it could be for some of you about a glow up. But I also feel like you're going to see more of the beauty of life within the next 30 days, right? You could be surrounded by beauty. You're going to have more times of fun and pleasure, like the Three of Cups suggests, you know. So yeah, this is pretty much what I have for you, pile number one. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Click on the notifications bell if you want to see when I will post a new video. Also, if you would like to support me further, you can do so by becoming a member and contributing with a small monthly fee. Um, you can find more details about that if you click on the join button under any of my videos. Also, I do private tarot readings. I also do private astrology readings. 
So if you're interested in private readings, check out the video description. I will leave my email address. You can write me for more details, pricing information, and other technicalities. And I've also left a link in the video description to reviews I have gotten for private readings before. If you're curious to see them, might help you decide if you want to get a reading. And last but not least, I also have an astrology channel where I focus mainly on Vedic astrology, but also with tropical insights because I have been into astrology for more than 20 years in total. For more than 10 years, I have been into, into Vedic, Vedic sidereal astrology, right? So if you're curious about astrology, go ahead and check out my channel, maybe subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope to see you at my next tarot reading. Bye! So welcome pile number two. This is your reading if you have chosen this card with number 42, the empty room and or this ruby zoicide crystal. So this is going to be the card selection phase. Let's see. You can skip directly to the reading if you don't want to sit through it. Tell me about pile number two, Spirit. What do they need to hear about the next 30 days? What do they need to hear? What, whoops. What does pile number two need to hear about the next 30 days, Spirit? Tell me. We have home, 35, aging. I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty, a vessel for the divine Shakti. Home and empty room. Interesting. Okay. Spare, tell me about pile number two, the Ruby and Zoya side people. What do they need to hear about the next 30 days from now? What is going to happen for them? What do they need to hear about the next 30 days? Tell me, Spirit. Tell me, Spirit. What do they need to hear about the next, about the next 30 days? Tell me. High Priestess. The Hierophant, the Nine of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Okay. Please clarify, I mean... Spirit, tell me about pile number two, the ruby zoe side. What do, they, what do they need to hear about the next 30 days? Four of swords. Seven of swords. King of wands. Five of Swords, Page of Swords, wow, Three of Swords, Pile Number Two, I have to admit, this looks pretty rough, but don't get discouraged just yet, let me bring it down. In fact, right off the bat, the cards that came out here give me a very strong message. That some of you are coming back, literally are coming back home. You have the Three of Wands signifying the past. And you have an empty room and home. Now, oh great, an alarm. Oh no, it's it's the I, probably an ambulance. Or I apologize about that, but there's nothing I can do about it. I live in the city, so this is the rhythm of my life. <sighs> oh man. It is loud. Anyway, <laughs> maybe there's... A, I don't want to be one of those tarot readers because like when I come across readings that are like, maybe that's a sign that the ambulance ran out right now. Like, I don't know. Maybe there is a sign. I don't know. Um, okay. Not saying that you're going to be picked up by an ambulance, heaven forbid. But could be the police. Uh, anyway, uh, what I'm seeing here is that you have gone through some rough stuff 
And yeah, what I was going to say is that you, some of you might literally be coming back from abroad. This is what I'm seeing. Like you maybe have gone through traveling a lot. Um, or maybe you are coming back from a period of wanderlust and you're getting back to appreciating what you have at home. And for some of you, what I'm getting here is this could be about divorce, like some kind of significant breakup or a divorce, because it gives me this um, message that, and again, I know this is really specific, but I guess some people won't have to hear it because it's coming out very strongly. Because we have home and the empty room here. So I feel like some of you are coming back to an empty house. This is the message that I'm I'm getting here. You have wandered around, um, maybe chased, for some of you, this could be like a metaphorical traveling. Like maybe you have just kept chasing your dreams and going after things. Um, and then eventually they didn't turn out to be the things that you wanted. And now you're coming around to understanding the things that you actually have right at home and appreciating those things. But for some of you, it could be more negative. Like, it could be like you're coming back to an empty home like someone else doesn't live there anymore. Worst case scenario, this could be about bereavement. For some, it could be about empty nest syndrome, like your children have left and now you're in an empty home. There's also this message about aging. I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. So I feel like some of you might be afraid of aging. We also have the number eight here on home, which is ruled by Saturn, which is the planet that rules old age. So I'm getting like some of you are just very, very anxious. I'm seeing a lot of anxiety here, to be honest. I feel like there's a lot of heartbreak. There's also a, a, some pain here, some heartbreak. I mean, look at this. Th these are pretty negative cards, I have to say. So you're working through, you're going through some kind of a painful process right now. And you're basically close to rock bottom. You know, this is what I'm seeing here. Um, a lot of, this could be like depression. But again, since we have the three of swords here, this could be about some deep heartache. You know, something involving matters of the heart could be romance, could be about family, complicated relationships, but some kind of a significant heartbreak. We do have positive energy as well in the near future because we have the Knight of Wands and the, the Page of Swords underneath. So there is still like... A light at the end of the tunnel and there's a lot of enthusiasm and a renewal of energy there's and, and this is interesting the contrast between aging and these energies over here i feel like spirit is telling you that your spirit is young at heart no matter what the physical age is maybe you're the kind of person that holds back because you think it's too late to do things that's another way to read this actually the three of wands with the five of of swords underneath it gives me this energy of someone who overthinks you know um spends too much time thinking as opposed to taking action and so what i see in the near future for you is that you're actually becoming more decisive more purposeful and keeping that youthful spirit of i am just starting out now i'm at the beginning of my journey you know and yeah, there's like this adventurousness, there's like this fresh energy, like kind of a teenager, young adult sort of energy. But I have to admit, this as an outcome, I mean, I feel like by the end of these 30 days, something, either something is going to happen, but I feel like it's not necessarily something unexpected that will happen. I feel like this is something that you probably already know about and you're still working through. And we also have like this, look at this, we have the Nine of Wands and the King of Wands. So you are a very hard worker, but you're also really tired of doing things on your own. And I feel like you've also maybe gone through a lot of conflicts, a lot of battles you've had to fight. But you are a very gifted person. You have a lot of intuition. And look at this, the Hierophant with the Seven of Swords. This speaks of you being very strategic. And that's good. Like, it's good that you are strategic. In your thinking, 
you're someone who knows how to work and also you're focused on working smarter, not harder, you know? This also shows that you could be put in some kind of a position where there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of responsibility being placed on you by society, by your family maybe. And I feel like this energy of burden here, like you feel burdened by a lot of things. What I'm seeing here, like really best case scenario is that there's someone in your life basically holding you down. And by the end of the 30 days, you might finally reach a position where you break up. Either if this is a romantic partner, it could be about breaking up, could be about cutting ties with a person. This could even be maybe about a job. Although I'm not seeing so many um, indicators that this is about the professional life, but it could be. Something that is burdening you will end, but it will be, and it will be painful, but it is necessary. And it's basically something you will recover from. Because we have this like, basically the Ten of Swords is an energy of, on the one hand, it is about hitting rock bottom, but it's also about, you know, once you have hit rock bottom, the only way to go is up. You know what I mean? So it's like, basically, it's always darkest before the dawn, that kind of energy, right? So you're very close to the dawn phase, basically. But it will still be some painful episode, I'm sure. I'm really curious about how this resonates. So please comment in the comment section because this looks really intense. I'm also seeing a lot of sun, a lot of fire energy on your part. So I feel like you're like some kind of a father figure. Like even if you're a woman, you feel like you have to be a protector and provider. Maybe like you have to fend for yourself all the time. Or that you have to be on the defensive too much. But you should definitely trust your intuition as well. So there's a lot of intuition, a lot of emotional intelligence here. Okay, let me see what the astral cards have to say. Spirit, tell me about pile number two. What is happening for them within the next 30 days or so? Cancer. The moon. All right. The eighth house. Not surprised because we have the number eight. We have Pisces. The dreamer. And we have Neptune. So loads of water energy. This is interesting because we also have a lot of fire. And we have the 8th house, which is transformation. So yeah, 8th house is not just about transformation. It's also a house connected to sudden events. Sudden ups and downs. So it's either like a rags to riches or a riches to rags, you know. That kind of thing. Like it shows the ups and downs, the uncontrollable elements of life. So... I mean, again, I don't want to be like the bringer of bad news or anything, but it could be like for some of you, something unexpected is going to happen. But then the eighth house, the, the positive side of the eighth house is it creates resilience and it basically builds you up. It builds up your strength, your emotional and mental strength, especially. And it's also about becoming somewhat like transforming yes like it says so transformation it's about basically necessary like growing pains you know that kind of energy like stuff you have to go through in order to reach a new stage of your life and we have the cancer and the moon so i feel like yeah this is the emotional stuff here the subconscious for some of you just this is showing a lot of emotional pain, maybe that is coming from childhood wounds, coming from the mother's side, especially. Because the moon is the mother archetype. But this is pretty much. And the Pisces is just so, is showing, right, Neptune and Pisces. So there's a lot of subconscious energy here, a lot of emotions, like I said, a lot of intuition. So one piece of advice that I could give you, oh my God, the ambulance is coming back. I cannot believe this. I can't, I can't. 
See what I mean? Th that's 8th house. See, 8th house is ambulances, police, stuff like that. Crisis situations. Um, so, what I was going to say is that about intuition. So, you could, for instance, try to write down your dreams. You could be getting a lot of insights through your dreams. And just follow your intuition. Trust your intuition. Because with the High Priestess, um, you definitely have some kind of psychic abilities, borderline psychic, okay? I won't say, like, you can speak to the dead, but you know what I mean. You have a very sharp intuition. You're probably spiritually evolved with these placements. And the 8th house also just shows a lot of occult energy, you know? So 8th house can also rule things like tarot and astrology. So it could just be that you will find comfort in these things or you will get deeper, um and more interested into them. I mean, you're watching this reading, so definitely could be a thing. Let's see. Astro Dice Spirit, tell me about pile number two. What is going to happen to them? I mean, for them in the next 30 days. We have Virgo. Okay, we have number 12, which is the 12th house. And we have Jupiter. So more Pisces energy. I feel like the subconscious, the dreams are becoming very strong here. This is really specific and weird that I got here, but you could be getting messages from past people that have passed away in your dreams. The Jupiter is also showing faith as well. So you might be really getting in touch with your faith, maybe spending more time cultivating a spiritual practice. Um, the Virgo is also about working on yourself. It could actually be, oh my god, yeah. Uh, with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords, I mean, for some of you, this could actually be about a physical ailment. The Eighth House as well. So, you're working on healing yourself, whatever it is. But the Virgo is also showing that you would do well to watch your diet, your exercise, and be healthy as much as possible. The Twelfth House also just shows that you might have a tendency to isolate yourself. Uh, you're also being called to rest a lot. And... There could also be, for some of you, an opportunity for travel. This is what I'm getting. Okay, let me get some charms. Spirit, what can you tell me for pile number two? What do they need to hear about the next? Wow, <laughs> we have the cross and believe as the first two charms. Okay, that's enough. Okay. This, I don't feel like I've seen this charm again. Wow, you got a little bumblebee. That's nice. Um. Oh my god, this always... I, I said this in another reading. This charm always makes me think of old age because it says 1905 on it and you have all this Saturn and aging thing. So some of you might be afraid of aging or something or you're somehow going to be either within the next 30 days or already have... Um, being faced with your limitations on a physical plane and you're like grappling with them. Maybe your body's not as fit as it used to be. You might have some ailments. And basically the message is do what you can by helping your body in a natural way through your diet, through your exercise, through getting enough rest. And don't beat yourself up about it. You know, like don't be hateful or frustrated about the natural process of aging. You know, because everyone has, you know, everyone who's privileged basically goes through it. We also have an anchor here, which makes me think that you're going to be looking for, like, a safe harbor. And most likely, I see for you, it's going to come through faith. We have so much in, you know, so much symbolism of faith. We have the cross here with Jesus on the cross. We have, we have blessed. We have believe. Wow. I mean, part, pile number one got... Oh my god, we have hope. All of these are very Christian themes. If you come from a Christian background, you know. Oh my god, we have believed twice. I cannot I cannot believe that we have believed twice. Like pile number 1 got totally different charms. That's that's what I'm saying. These are very specific. We also have beautiful. Beautiful god also came out in pile number 1. So, you know what I got here? I'm getting two songs with you. Uh, the first one is Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. You know, because they, because we are beautiful no matter what they say. You know, that kind of thing. Maybe you should listen to it. There might be a message there. 
um, like, I feel like some of you maybe are hypercritical with yourselves. That's another thing, which is making uh, things worse. You know, it makes everything worse, like your mental health, your emotional health, and ultimately even the physical health, right? If you're overly critical. Um, you also have the swan here. So there's here's the message of transformation again. Yeah, some of you could definitely be go getting through a going through a glow up, sorry, or it could just be about your physical health because we also have the eighth house of transformation. We have the elephant and we have the plane, which to me also the twelfth house, so much Pisces energy. I'm getting a lot of Revati energy, Revati Nakshatra. If you come from Vedic astrology, you know what I what that is. Um, it's very much connected to luck through traveling and also faith and all that and humanitarian work um, and arts and a lot of things. So it's very Piscean. So basically, I feel like for many of you, there there is a repeated theme of long distance or long term travel. Oh, my God. I just realized that this is feeding into the initial message that I said that some of you are coming home. Like some of you are literally coming home. OK, I'm very curious to hear the feedback on this because these are very specific messages. I normally don't get this kind of stuff. So I feel like Spirit really wants some of you to hear this. Oh, and the other song that keeps coming to my mind because I, before I forget, is um, Coming Home. I think it's called Coming Home by Aurora. I mean, something with home, you know, by Aurora, the singer. You should look into it. That's a, It's a really great song and and it's so, it's kind of bittersweet, you know, and it's also kind of, you know, about someone who is coming back home after such a long time. But I feel for some of you, the home theme could be spiritual. This whole thing could be spiritual. So for some of you, this is like a literal journey where you have maybe lived abroad or you live abroad and you're coming back home, you're visiting family. For some of you, this is a spiritual thing. Like, it feels like you're emotionally coming home to maybe something you always felt like you should be doing with your life, for instance. If that makes sense. Or getting back in touch with people who are in the on the same wavelength, who don't gaslight you, who validate your emotions, you know. This is what I'm getting. And I, I feel there a very strong component of faith here. The B is also very tied to community, you know. So I feel like, yeah, for some of you, it's like you're going back to the hive. You know what I mean? You're finding a tribe, maybe getting back in touch with people who make you feel good, who make you feel like you belong. Yeah, this is pretty much what I have for you, pile number two. And don't forget to comment in the comment section. Also, like the video if you have liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Click on the notifications bell if you want to see when I will post a new video. Also, if you're interested in a private tarot reading, check out the video description for more information. I've left my email address. You can contact me for more, more details on how to get a private reading. I've also left a link in the video description to private readings I have done in tarot. Um, in case you're curious to check them out, might help you decide if you want to get a reading. Aside from that, I have an astrology channel and I focus mainly on Vedic astrology but also with tropical insights because I now have more than 20 years of experience in astrology, more than 10 of those years in Vedic astrology, which is the one that I mainly focus on right now. But I use both systems together sometimes, okay? So if you're curious about astrology, go ahead and check my channel in the video description. Maybe subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope to see you at my next tarot reading. Bye! Hello, pile number three. This is your reading if you have chosen this card, number 25, the healer and or the black onyx crystal. So I'm going to add timestamps if you want to skip directly to the reading, because I will take my time. Spirit, tell me about pile number three, the black onyx. What do they need to know about the next 30 days, roughly the next month? Spirit, tell me. So we have 26 letting go. Makes sense with healing. Change. Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. You can say to love, 
Just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. Nice. Spirit, tell me about pile number three. What do they need to know about the next 30 days? Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, whoa, Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords, Ten of Cups, Temperance, pile number three. Okay, Spare, tell me about pile number <laughs> Okay, I'm going to shuffle them better. Tell me about pile number three, Spirit. What do they need to know about the next 30 days from now? Tell me. Okay, these two wanted to come out. We have the Temperance again underneath the Six of Cups. The Three of Swords underneath the Ace of Pentacles. The Four of Wands underneath the Queen of of pentacles seven of swords underneath the king of swords king of wands underneath the ten of cups ace of wands underneath the temperance okay pile number three you have a pretty positive vibe here so things are definitely going to look better by the end of these next 30 days that's something i can tell you right off the bat because your current situation involves some heartache here. And since we have the Ace of Pent... I cannot believe this. This is the third time since I started recording this reading that I hear an ambulance. Or the police. I'm not sure. Anyway. And oh my god, I said this with pile number two because the ambulance went twice. And they also have Eighth House Energy. And you also have these cards with Letting Go, Change. You'll have uh, 26, which boils down to an 8, which makes me think of the 8th house and change, which, again, is kind of connected to the 8th house. 8th house in astrology is connected to crisis situation. So, yeah, that's why I said ambulances might relate. Anyway, there's some heartache here with the Ace of Pentacles. This most likely has to do with something that you thought was like a gift, but ended up becoming like a Trojan horse, if that makes sense. And I feel most strongly for many of you, this is about a career. This is about something connected to career. It could be a job, maybe an opportunity you thought was an opportunity, but ended up not being great. So I'm seeing some kind of a heartache here. We do start out with the Six of Cups. And the temperance underneath, which makes me think that your energy is very innocent. You're very pure. And you're someone who has a lot of creativity. You know how children just have no limits when it comes to, you know, the ideas that they get in their heads. Because they don't really have that sense of, you know, society telling them what they should and shouldn't be yet. I feel like you still retain a lot of that energy. And you're someone who is extremely creative, someone who can put things together in a way that others wouldn't even dream of. Um, you might be juggling, for instance, you might be juggling right now um, two different activities or lines of work or um, something that takes up your time. Could be a hobby and a job that are very different in nature, right? So maybe you work uh, as a programmer and you play guitar in a club on Fridays or something, you know what I mean? Or you're doing stand-up. So it can, it, this is the kind of vibe that I'm getting here. You also have here the Queen of Pentacles with the, the word artiste in this deck, which may, further kind of enforces that. Yeah, and I'm also seeing you're very focused on, look at this, perfect work and Queen of Pentacles. So you're very focused on your craft. You're very focused on something, again, I'm seeing career-related. Maybe a passion project, maybe learning different things. Oh my god, the effing ambulance. I, sh I swear to god. <laughs> I know I should have closed the window, but it's too hot if I close the window. Anyway, 
Uh, and it's not even this window, it's the other room. And I have the door open to let some air in. Anyway, so this is the, yeah, so this is what it makes me think. Your energy is very much focused on passion projects. You're very, um, you're also just pretty content, actually. I feel like you are getting to a place where you're feeling like you're finally making a living, doing something you love more and more. This is what I'm getting here. See how this resonates. So maybe for some of you, it, I mean, depending on which stage you are, I definitely getting a, I'm getting a feeling here of someone who's really creative and at least has considered at some point turning a passion project into a career. So depending on your situation, this could be just for some people starting out a new hobby, trying things that you love to do. For some of you, it could be you have a side hustle. Some of you are even starting a real business, you know, depending on the situation. But this is the vibe that I'm getting here. Someone who is really independent, really creative, has a hard time, um, you know, let's say dealing with a corporate job or live, living and working in really strict, well-defined environments where there are a lot of regulations and like a lot of predetermined ways to do things. This is the vibe that I'm getting I also feel with the King of Swords and the um, Seven of Swords underneath, it's like you're leaving behind over analyzing. And to a large extent, you actually might be moving away from being hyper rational and hyper focused on the truth, maybe, or uh, things that are very technical, very logical. And instead, you're focusing more on expressing yourself, developing creatively, like I said. You also have, like I said, you have the, the temperance coming out twice. So there's this very strong message that you're someone who's blending things that are otherwise unblendable, you know, like paradoxical, contradictory. So you're a very original character. I wouldn't be surprised if you have Aquarius placements. I'm going to see what I get through the astrological notes on that. We also have, look at this, very, very good times ahead. We have the Ten of Cups. So in the near future... There's a lot of success coming here. And this is like success coming on every plane. Emotional, material, um, career-wise. So I'm seeing a lot of career energy here. And look at this. I, I really feel like for some of you, you are heading towards becoming self-employed. Becoming very independent. I'm getting a lot of like a burst of energy. Like a lot of sun energy as well. Like this very fiery, passionate, determined energy. Like you're starting something. By the end of the month, I mean, some of you could be breaking out, let's say, into maybe a new line of work, a new a hobby, or you're going to make some kind of a significant improvement, maybe in learning a new skill or perfecting something, perfecting your craft, your, your knowledge. And I feel like with letting go, there's definitely some significant change. You're in a process of significantly changing the way you do things overall, like, and this is not just about career or like one aspect, it's everything. It could be like you're changing your lifestyle, you're changing just everything. Your overall MO about how to function in the world is changing. And it's probably going to be a lengthy process. It's not going to be just like the next 30 days, but this is the main theme within the next 30 days. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. Let me see the astro notes. Spirit, tell me about pile number three. What is happening for them within the next 30 days? Tell me, Spirit. Fifth house. <laughs> Fifth house, the house of children, such a confirmation of the six of cups coming out. We have Neptune, dreams and spirit, very creative energy, like I said, very, very creative. Pluto, the co-ruler of Scorpio, it's the ruler of Scorpio in tropical. In Vedic, it's, uh, Scorpio is ruled by Ketu, which is the south node of the moon and Mars. But, you know, I'm still going to give Pluto the common courtesy of calling it the ruler of Scorpio. Uh, we have Pisces, the dreamer. So a lot of Pisces energy, more creativity. And we have ninth house, learning and faith. Yeah, fiery energy. So the fifth and the ninth houses are showing basically a confirmation of what I saw here with you. Um, some of you are actually in some kind of a formal 
education process. For others, this is just you very focused on something you love to do. Fifth house is heart chakra. This is what brings you joy, what brings you happiness. It's that childlike energy. It's connected to children. Very specifically, some of you could be working with children and, you know, you're going to be doing more of that in the, within the next month. This is also about just getting in touch with your inner child, basically. You know, getting back in touch with that purely creative, fun energy of, you know, just letting your mind run wild and come up with all kinds of crazy ideas and try things and see how they work out. Um, this is a very good month for any kind of study, any kind of learning. Ninth house is also about faith. Pisces is also about faith. But Pisces is also wildly intuitive and creative. Um, so Pisces and Leo are probably the most creative energies, and you have both of them represented here. Pluto is a further confirmation of that Scorpio 8th house energy. Like I said, the 8th house showing up here, the ambulance showing up in the background to annoy me. So that's a further confirmation that you're going through some major transformative process right now. And for you, the outcome is definitely positive, okay? <clears throat> definitely positive you're heading towards some better chapter of your life okay let me get some more energies spirit tell me about pile, pile number three what is happening for them in the next 30 days jupiter that's more pisces energy also ninth house because it's sagittarius we also have aries okay that's mars energy similar to scorpio and we have six which can be the sixth house which is connected to virgo so sixth house this is a strong confirmation of what I said, that you are changing everything. Sixth house, sixth house is about your daily routines. So I feel like maybe some of you are going to be going through, um, you know, out with the old, in with the new. Like you're looking through your life and taking out everything that doesn't work, doesn't serve you. Maybe some of you could even get, be, be getting rid of like old stuff, you know, putting things up for sale. Um, stuff that you have around your house or just throwing things away that you haven't used. We have Aries, which is that Ace of Wands energy, that fiery energy, very determined, very passionate, very no-nonsense, you know, not letting anything or anyone get in your way. And the Jupiter is also about having a vision. So this is what I'm saying. Like, I feel many of you are very independent and you have some kind of a vision for your life and you have some kind of a plan or if you're not going to have it <laughs> if you don't have it sorry you're going to be getting some kind of strong hints within the next 30 days maybe some ideas you're going to have for the kind of life you want to live what you want to do professionally maybe a business idea so watch out for that also the ninth house and the jupiter shows a very strong um faith having a faith in yourself optimism faith and joy, also maybe an opportunity for travel could be showing up as well within the next 30 days. I'm not seeing long term or long distance, but could be like a holiday, uh, could be a few days away. Things that you do for fun either way. I'm not seeing traveling for business. Um, yeah, traveling would be beneficial as well. But what I was going to say is education of any kind. So you're going to have the strong urge to learn, maybe to read things. So if there are any books that maybe suddenly attract your attention this could be a hint from the universe that it's a useful thing for you to learn about so definitely look into the books that you are drawn to within the next 30 days and the sixth house could be about competition so you might have to deal with some competition within the next 30 days and it could also be about pets pets are going to be at the forefront and overall your health your daily routines i also feel like through changing your daily routines, you're probably going to be improving your health as well. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. Let's get some charms. Last but not least, Spirit, tell me about pile number three. What is happening for them within the next 30 days? Oh, wow. Okay, I think I'm getting the picture here. So let's start. We have the bone, which makes me think of dogs. This also makes me think of being a dog with a bone. So for some of you, this is literally, again, confirmation about dealing with pets. This is about you chasing your goals determinately in a very determined fashion during this next 30 days. Like you might be getting some strong inspiration to 
chase something until the end, like a dog chases cars or something. We have this hand, which makes me think of Hasta. We also have Made with Love, this charm, which makes me think of crafty things like doing your own, making your own soap, your own, I don't know, candles. Uh, makes me think of the Love Witch, if you've seen that <laughs> film. Um, also makes me think of just anything that is like handcrafted, you know, natural, made with your own hands. So maybe some of you even have Hasta placements, which is um, placed in Virgo in the Sidereal Zodiac. And because this nakshatra is connected to the hands and working with your hands. So I feel like many of you, again, are going to be trying arts and crafts this month. Or you could be getting back in touch with some hobby that maybe some old hobby or a new hobby that you are picking up. There's a lot of beautiful coming out twice as a charm. Um, this is also about be having a glow up. I feel like it's mostly going to be like an unintentional glow up because you're focusing on cleaning up your lifestyle. And because of that, you're going to look healthier, more vibrant. Um, and this could also just be focusing on arts, you know, creating more beauty in your environment, maybe redecorating. We also have this planet here. I think this is like, I'm not sure, it could be Saturn. Um, the way that I would look at this, though, this is about you just being a dreamer, aiming high, getting inspiration. And also, for some of you, astrology could be a thing, but I'm sure for many people who watch my channel, they're also into astrology. Um, it's just that there could be just something that is going to show up within the next 30 days that's in terms of opportunities that might bring you closer to fulfilling your destiny. So I definitely feel like you should pay attention. You know, we also have this moon with the star. Also could be same thing. I mean, I'm getting something connected to um, influence by the destiny, by the universe, you know, influenced by the stars. Maybe there's some kind of serendipity happening or something that's going to, it's meant to happen. Like the, the universe is going to bring you in the right path, on the right path, or with the right people at the right time. Some opportunities are going to be showing up. We also have the elephant here. This makes me think of Ravati, maybe. Maybe Ravati or Barani. Both of those could work. Those are nakshatras from Vedic astrology. So um, both of them are creative, artistic. One of them is in Aries. Oh my god, Aries, which is showing up. Um, and the other one is in Pisces, which also showed up. <laughs> so um, they're both very creative. They're also, uh, especially Barani is borderline psychic, you know. So you could have prominent placements in these nakshatras. That could be a further confirmation that you're meant to hear this. And it's just, they're both artistic. And it's a further confirmation that you are meant to develop your artistic talents. Artistic or creative in general, you know. We also have this charm that shows the mountains, which I see as a, as a very strong confirmation of Sagittarius in the ninth house and Jupiter. So some of you, again, you might be going on a holiday or you just might be getting more opportunities to travel, maybe to get out in nature, to hike. And we also have family here. Fifth house. So yeah, family means you might be spending more time with family. We do have the 10th house here. For some of you, like, if you're single and watching this, which I think would be a bit surprising because I mean, I'm not getting, like, single vibes here. But if you are single and watching this, this could be that you're meeting someone significant. Could be, because we have that Ten of Cups, which is about marriage, basically, like, building a family. Uh, but this could also just mean spending more time, spending more time with, with family. And we have the little flower here. I think this is a daisy. Again, just makes me think of seeing the beauty in, in little things, doing more arts and crafts, creativity. Like I said, also maybe beautifying your environment. You know, like, and we also have Imagine here, which is a further confirmation of creativity. Imagine is Pisces energy. So, and again, I feel like you're being encouraged to chase your imagination because of that temperance coming out twice. You're someone who is meant to be creative and original and I feel like the message is overall don't hold back because you're afraid of judgment or because yeah you're afraid of how other people are going to see you 
And also the sixth house and the healer. Like maybe some of you are actually involved in the medical profession or you're going to have some kind of a opportunity to, I mean, see how this resonates. If this resonates, like you're interested in medical science, natural sciences, this is a strong indicator that you might be moving to that direction, maybe picking up courses, learning about it. Um, I don't know, anything to do with the natural world, maybe learning about herbalism and remedies and all that. Um, but for some of you, this could also be you're going to heal some issues, some medical issues within the next 30 days, you know, like maybe you're finally going to come across the right doctor who gives you the right diagnosis, you know, something's going to get sorted out. Pretty much, this is what I see for you. So this is what I have for you, pile number three. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notifications bell if you want to see when I will post a new video. Also comment in the comment section with any feedback you would like to give or ideas for future topics you would like me to cover. Also, um, if you would like to support my channel further, you can do so by clicking on the join button under any of my videos and contribute through a small monthly fee. If you are interested in getting a private tarot reading, you can email me at the email address in the video description for a pricing list and more details about the kind of readings that I offer. I've also left a link in the video description to reviews I have gotten for private readings before. So if you're curious to look at them, might help you decide if you want to get a reading, check them out. And last but not least, I have an astrology channel where I focus mainly on Vedic astrology, but also with some tropical insights because I have more than 20 years of experience in astrology up until this point, over 10 of those years in Vedic astrology, which is my preferred school of astrology right now. So yeah, if you're curious about astrology, go ahead and check it out. Maybe subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope to see you at my next tarot reading. Bye!